Hey guys. Welcome to AWS DBA. In this session, we are going to see about provisioned IOPS SSD storage. Provisioned IOPS SSD storage. For a production application that requires fast and consistent IO performance, we recommend provisioned IOPS input slash output operations per second storage. Provisioned IOPS storage is a storage type that delivers predictable performance and consistently low latency. Provisioned IOPS storage is optimized for online transaction processing OLTP, workloads that have consistent performance requirements. Provisioned IOPS helps performance tuning of these workloads. When you create a DB instance, you specify the IOPS rate and the size of the volume. The ratio of IOPS to allocated storage in gigabyte must be at least 0.5. Amazon RDS provides that IOPS rate for the DB instance until you change it. Maximum IOPS of 64,000 is guaranteed only on Nitro-based instances that are on the M5, A5, and Z1D instance types. Other instance families guarantee performance up to 32,000 IOPS. Combining provisioned IOPS storage with multi as deployments or read replicas. For production OLTP use cases, we recommend that you use multi as deployments for enhanced fault tolerance with provisioned IOPS storage for fast and predictable performance. You can also use provisioned IOPS SSD storage with read replicas for MySQL, MariaDB or PostgreSQL. The type of storage for a read replica is independent of that on the primary DB instance. For example, you might use general purpose SSD for read replicas with a primary DB instance that uses provisioned IOPS SSD storage to reduce costs. However, your read replica's performance, in this case, might differ from that of a configuration where both the primary DB instance and the read replicas use provisioned IOPS SSD storage. Provisioned IOPS storage costs. With provisioned IOPS storage, you are charged for the provisioned resources whether or not you use them in a given month. Getting the best performance from Amazon RDS, provisioned IOPS SSD storage. If your workload is IO constrained, using provisioned IOPS SSD storage can increase the number of IO requests that the system can process concurrently. Increased concurrency allows for decreased latency because IO requests spend less time in a queue. Decreased latency allows for faster database commits, which improves response time and allows for higher database throughput. Provisioned IOPS SSD storage provides a way to reserve IO capacity by specifying IOPS. However, as with any other system capacity attribute, its maximum throughput under load is constrained by the resource that is consumed first. That resource might be network bandwidth, CPU, memory, or database internal resources. Magnetic storage. Amazon RDS also supports magnetic storage for backward compatibility. We recommend that you use general purpose SSD or provisioned IOPS SSD for any new storage needs. The following are some limitations for magnetic storage doesn't allow you to scale storage when using the SQL Server database engine. Doesn't support storage auto-scaling. Doesn't support elastic volumes. Limited to a maximum size of 3 TB. Limited to a maximum of 1000 IO.